I no longer trust you. <laughs> you gave me nine, no, eight good things in these past two videos. And you're like, ha, 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 how you like that? Bow, right in the mouth. So welcome to part two of the quarantine taste test where Wesley here, who is not from Hawaii, <laughs> is going to be trying Hawaii, local Hawaii snacks. I see some delicious stuff. You're not supposed to be looking. Oh. <laughs> so uh, as you remember in the first part, we had five different snacks that he tried that were retro snacks that were um, uh, kind of like a my childhood snack. So this is going to be a little bit different. These are a little bit more contemporary, but they're still some of my favorites. So I'm hoping that Wesley will enjoy these. I don't know if I get to look at them. No, you don't get to look at them. So I try them with it. I mean, I kind of accidentally. <laughs> You're not supposed eggs. to look. Anyway, anyway, so we have five different snacks. Okay. You ready? How am I going to try them if I don't look at them? Are you ready? Yes. All right. Food is involved. <laughs> we are going to try iso peanuts. Do you know, have you tried iso peanuts before? I don't know. I'm not supposed to look at Okay, it. stop. You can look at this. <laughs> So have you tried iso peanuts before? It looks like Boston baked beans. Well, yeah, it kind of does. Iso peanuts um, are peanuts with a crunchy shell around it, which is usually made of um, kind of like a um, rice cracker. Ooh, so it's a savory. Yes, and it's glazed. As you can see, they're a different color. That's why he said that it looks like Boston baked beans. Because it's red and it's bean shaped. Yeah, they are glazed with like a soy sauce kind of thing, and they have little like pieces of yeah, little pieces of uh, seaweed on them too. Hey. So hopefully you'll like them. Okay? Anything with seaweed. Kind of so here, this is what it looks like. Okay, there you go. Mm -hmm. Sniff them. What does it smell like? Cross between soy sauce and Boston baked beans. <laughs> Is it crunchy? These are good. Wow. How would you describe the flavor? Interesting enough, it's it's a little savory, but it's also a little sweet. Mm, yeah, it is a little bit sweet. Yeah, I don't know why. I think because of the glaze. And it has a little bit of sugar, potato starch. Yeah, I think it's because of the glaze. They're not going to just uh, glaze it, it with soy sauce. They probably glaze it with a soy sauce with a little bit of sugar in it. Yeah, probably get it to stick. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. That's really good. Is it? I like how crunchy it is. Mm-hmm. And... Well, I mean, <laughs> let me see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very crunchy. <laughs> mm. Okay. <laughs> so I guess this is a thumbs up for you. Oh, okay. absolutely. Okay, great. All right, so the next thing that I'm gonna have Wesley try is this thing called Hurricane Popcorn. Now, Hurricane Popcorn is something that um, started off in movie theaters in Hawaii where people would buy um, kakimochi, which is uh, rice crackers, and they would put it in their movie theater popcorn. And they found that it tasted really good together, especially because of the butter of the um, popcorn. Mm -hmm. But um, Hurricane Popcorn adds one more ingredient, and that's Kudikaki. Hey! Kudikaki, which is seaweed. It's a Tufu seaweed. Tufu. It's a seaweed um, sprinkled. Roasted seaweed. Yeah. And Quakey. 
and salt and you spread it over your rice but mm -hmm. um they actually put this on popcorn so um i'm gonna have let's see try this is it gonna rock me like a hurricane i hope so <laughs> so as you can see there are um different elements of this which is the popcorn right here and then this is the rice cracker so in order to try this you need to eat the two together mm -hmm. and as you can see there's little flecks of the um furikake or the seaweed yep. on there so mm -hmm. how does it smell yeah you gotta smell it first i already smelled it what does it smell like like popcorn like <laughs> popcorn of course <laughs> Cool. Cherry leaf. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I like that. I like the savory. Yeah. That's it has neat. A, it has a good mm. combination, I think, with the butter of the popcorn. Yeah, it does. The the, the sweet of the butter and the savory of the uh, rice crackers. Rice cracker. Thank mm -hmm. you. That's really good, especially with that uh putakake. Yeah. Oh, that yeah. really adds to it, yeah. Yeah, it does. Um, hopefully, I'll get some more of that later and not just for the video. <laughs> so that's a thumbs up. Yeah, of course. Thumbs up. All right. What do we got? Okay, so the next thing that um, I'm going to have Wesley try is this thing called Kudipaki Rice Puffs. Puff rice cake. Well, we call it rice puffs. Um, sometimes we call it. Um, we have, we have all different kinds of names for it, but basically this is just. A bunch it looks of, almost like a trail mix bar or something. Yeah, but. it's it's um, puffed rice that's held together mm -hmm. by um, something kind of sweet, and it has things like peanuts in it, but it also has furikake in it, which is like again the seaweed. Um, that you sprinkle over rice. I, I see a theme here. Yeah, this is the uh, fruity cocky. The fruity cocky theme. Mm. <laughs> yeah. So this is what it looks like, as you can mm. see. They're little tiny squares. Well, it doesn't really have much of a smell. It's just a hint of one. Just a hint. I guess you're not really supposed to. You can smell the kind of the sweetener. There. <laughs> They're a little bit. Mmm. Um, I got them. Okay. Thank you. Oh, that's really good. Hmm. That reminds me of something. Yeah? What's the reminder? There is a peanut bar that oh. used to come into MREs. Oh. Hmm. They were like, they were just peanuts mm -hmm. and they were held together with something like, I don't know. Something it, sweet? Something sweet. Yeah. Probably just caramelized sugar, yeah. but if it's peanuts and something else, and it has that kind of a flavor, but instead of being, you know, just all peanuts, this is puffed rice and peanuts. That's really good. Can you taste the furikake? Mm-hmm. But it's not overpowering. It's not overpowering. You can taste whatever that 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 binding agent is, whatever that is. It's sweet and it's savory. It's crunchy, and it's really good. I, I think this would be good. You know, if you if you were to go on trails or something like that, definitely with the carbs. Yeah. Wow, and yeah. the peanuts. So good. yeah, that's that's really good. Yeah. Thumbs up. All right. Yeah. Three for so, three. Wow, that's very good. I'm excited. All right, what's next? Okay. So this is the one that I'm not sure about, but I want him to try. It's called Rock Salt Plum. And this is one of the seeds from Jade. And Jade is from my childhood. Um, this is a seed company from my childhood. And as you remember from the last video, if you saw it, crack seed is referring to preserved fruits like this that we have in Hawaii that um, have salt. Um, I guess the, the Chinese brought them over um, and to preserve them, they, um, they preserve them with salt. So this is what we eat in Hawaii. These are snacks for us now. So this is rock salt plum. Um, this is what I get for saying, I may have liked Lahing <laughs> last time. <laughs> Just cause I liked a little bit of plum dust. 
<laughs> on the mango slices and the gummy bears. Now you're giving me full on plums. Yeah, this is oh the full on. This is the full on plum. Um, this is um, what is called one of our wet seeds, which isn't dried like most of the seeds that you'll see and the licking moi that um, most people are used to. These are wet seeds, which um, they have a little bit of licorice in them, but um, they're licorice? supposed to be salty. Yeah, so you can try it. Licorice. Like black licorice? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, a little bit. I like black licorice. Okay, good. But I'm a little bit afraid, though, because of the texture of it. Um, and for people who haven't really tried it, it's very salty. Ooh, that feels... Mushy? Not what I expected it. <laughs> what did you expect? Well, I didn't... It, you know what it kind of feels like? When you're in biology class and you're dissecting stuff, and it has that sticky, wet texture, and you cut a piece off because the teacher told you to, and you're about to put it in your mouth. <laughs> well, hopefully it'll be a lot better experience than that. Um, well, I mean, no formaldehyde, so it should be. Yeah, uh, hopefully. <laughs> not that I've ever tasted anything in biology class, except he for that says. one time. <laughs> Except for that one time where I forgot to wash my hands and then I dug into my stomach. Right. But that's another story for another time. All right, let's let's do this. Okay. All right, there's a hard seed in there. Yes, there's a seed in there. So you didn't warn me. Sorry, there's a seed in there. <laughs> no, this is a no. This is a no. Yeah, I think this is a no. I think this is a no. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna finish what I started. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this is actually a, a very popular um, snack in Hawaii. Uh, people that tend to like this. Well, except for him, obviously. <laughs> it is your sour. Eyes are, your eyes are watering. Well, that's... <clears throat> are you... well, <laughs> I've only been up for an hour or two, so... Hmm. Well, you're gonna have to take out the seed. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to take out the seed. <laughs> but how to do politely? No, you don't. While to... people are watching. <laughs> Thank <laughs> goodness for edits. <laughs> Edit coming up in three, two, one. I no longer trust you. <laughs> You gave me nine, no, eight good things in these past two videos. And you're like, ha, 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 how you like that? Bow, right in the mouth. <laughs> these are actually really good. I mean, I, I eat these all the time. <laughs> this is a definite thumbs down, I'm guessing. Definite thumbs down. Okay. It's it's to me it's mm -hmm. it is very salty. Yeah, it is salty. That is true. And it's bitter. I don't know about to bitter. me it's bitter. I, I don't know if it's because I eat a lot of really spicy things, which has thrown off my taste for sweet things mm -hmm. and sour things, but to me that tastes really, really bitter. Um I, I can't really I don't know what to compare that to. <laughs> yeah. I've had a lot of things in my mouth, but none of them tasted like that. Okay. <laughs> I guess this is a slow stop. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> anyway. Um, if you remember from the last video, if you saw the last video, we did licking gummy bears. Always with the gummy bears with you. <laughs> anyway, this time we're doing a lemon peel. Now, lemon peel is like one of the seeds like previously we had, and it's kind of like licking. It's preserved lemon with, um, it's uh, in a lemon juice kind of thing. So it's, it's not as much salty as it is a little bit sour on the sour side. I like lemon, so. Okay, well that's good. Okay, so this is kind of what it looks like. It ha It's gummy bears with, um, you can see the little specks of um, 
dark thing. <laughs> lemon peel in it. Uh, lemon peel gummy bears have become very, very popular, especially this year. Um, when you go to uh, Chinese, some Chinese restaurants, the Sintonian, mm. they sell lemon peel gummy bears oh. separately. So Why did they become suddenly popular? Um, I'm not really sure. Mm. I know that Lihing gummy bears were popular for a really long time, but lemon peel gummy bears is just a new thing right now, I guess. Oh, People have just started putting them together and decided that they like how it tastes. We've had Lihing forever. Now let's try something new. I know you like green apple, so I put a green apple one in there. Yeah, it looks like there's two green yeah. apples. Mm. What's all this? There's a flaky... Yeah, those are the lemon... Um, oh, I thought you shavings. said the, the black, the dark stuff mm -hmm. is the... No, that's lemon shavings. <laughs> so sticky. Yeah. <laughs> At least his eyes are not watering this time. So, I mean, I guess that's a good sign. They're good for a gummy bear. I'm trying to get something with this dark speck on it because I haven't... The, those are more salty on the salty side. Hmm. Because lemon, oh. peel, lemon peel is very salty. It is one of the, um, the crack seeds, as we call it, um, mm. that, that are preserved with salt, so... I like those. Oh, do you? I mean, I don't like gummy bears, but mm -hmm. if I had to eat gummy bears, I like those. Okay. What? I like those better than the Lee Hing ones. Actually. Do you really? You think that the flavor of the uh, mm -hmm. lemon peel pear is better? Mm-hmm. I like Why the pairing of the salt. Oh, the salt is it. Yeah, the salt with this. I like the savory and sweet together yeah. a lot. Yeah. That's why, you know, like the when we was talking about the popcorn, I mm -hmm. like putting the Twizzlers in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or yeah. used to. Yeah, so this is this is something. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Oh, great. great. Okay, so we got uh, four. Better than the unmentionable. Aha. Uh -huh. Iso peanuts. Yay! Yay! Thumbs up. Hurricane popcorn. Yay! Thumbs up. Free cocky popcorn yes. snacks. Yay! Thumbs up. Rock salt plum. Mm -hmm. Thumbs down. Lemon peel gummy bears. Thumbs up. Yay! So this was actually pretty successful, except for yeah. the rock salt plum. So which one was your favorite? Oh no. <laughs> it would have to be between the iso peanut and the furukaki puff rice. I really like this. Probably the, the peanut. Okay, so this is your favorite? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. That surprises me, actually. Well, what do you think? What do you think it would be? Um, I, I thought it would be either this or that, the hurricane popcorn. But mm. for me, my favorite out of all of You're this? more of a popcorn person than I am. That's going to be my favorite. Um, if she's not eating gummy bears, she's eating popcorn. Don't let her lie to you. <laughs> hurricane popcorn is my favorite. I will make this at the the movie theater when I go, um, they have little packets of furikake that I pour in and they do have the rice crackers on the side that you can pour into. So I would eat this anytime that I go to the movie theater. I buy this as a mix and there's also one unmade one where the popcorn is not popped yet and then you can pour your own um, mm. rice cakes and rice cake and furikake. Nice. Yeah. So, I can't get the song out of my head now. <laughs> anyway, so thank you very much for joining us for part two. Of our quarantine, <laughs> of our quarantine edition of our taste test. Is there going to be a part three? Yes, there's going to be a part three. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, but thank you very much for joining us. Yes. We'll see you in part three. Aww.